great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. It's the William Street Swap Shop. It's Monday morning. My name and is it, Zach. My name is Matt. And it's a deal. It's a deal. <coughs> Hi, Zach. Hey, Matt. How is it going? It's great. I feel wonderful today. I feel good. The pollen count is down. That's right. I haven't been sneezing as much. Our allergies are not so bad. I feel healthy. I feel great. The weekend, I got a lot of rest. I slept great. I uh, feel rejuvenated. Me too. Slept great. I uh, got a lot of rest, and I felt like pretty much rejuvenated. You know, health is a very important part of my life, and over the weekend, I had a lot of uh, energy drinks to keep me healthy and a lot of uh, a lot of them had natural fruit juice in them that kept me going that's great get all the antioxidants out and all the toxins out keep the get the vitamins in we got a like a lifestyle in the swap shop you work hard you play hard sometimes the toxins build up and you got to drink some of those energy drinks with natural herb uh, infusions clear it right out get your health perfect again um the caloric intake high, but the herbs offset that and make you really good and healthy. And that's where we're at right now. And I've been growing <laughs> a uh, spearmint plant outside. I think Nick asked about it in the chat. And uh, it's something that I neglected when it was first given to me. And now it's it's doing well. It rained a little bit over the weekend, so it's gotten natural water. I, have, I didn't even have to waste any uh, water from the city. Perfect. Public so water. water. That water belongs to someone else now. So you're telling me the water just came you just got water right just rained on it i didn't have to open up my faucet I, I i hate to open up the faucets and let the water out i like to keep the water safe um unlike that character in uh, mad max i keep all the water in, in the pipes for someone else i don't like my water bill to be high i don't want to take water from anyone you know they say in the new economy water is going to be the currency and people will barter and trade for things with drinking water makes so sense and i would hate to use that drinking water on a spearmint plant because right. i want to make mixed drinks with that spearmint but not with alcohol just d uh, <coughs> different juices you google uh warren buffett water investment strategies you'll get a whole list of things about investing in water now for in a century or so when that's going to be the way we use currency is water just real quick i'm better at <laughs> swimming than i am walking believe it or not i can swim like a duck real fast i love to swim uh walking though i i, I find myself i sometimes stumble mm -hmm. uh, i don't walk in a straight pattern i think i'm walking if you were to track me with a gps and look down the halls it would do this like a snake as i walk i don't walk in a straight line and sometimes i bump into people but when i swim i'm Swimming. Swim to win. Yep. Down those lanes. Hey, coming up. I'm swimming behind you. I like to ride my bike to work, as you know. And uh, I've often thought if there was a route to swim to work, that'd be even better. But there's no such thing unless they were to dig a really like specific a canal. canal. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's something to invest in. Uh, a canal build a canal in your city not only would you have drinking water but you could also travel in it and go uh, to many places imagine waking up and getting your swimming trunks on and saying i'm off to work and then your significant other hears a splash mm -hmm. there you go off to swim 
And she says, be careful of the... Uh, and then we have some kind of predator fish in the water just to keep th things, the ecosystem and the habitat on an even keel. Right. Be careful of the piranha sort of or gray. the barracuda. Like a kelp and then to balance out the kelp like a, yeah, like a man-eating fish. The other thing I thought in lieu of a canal, you could just now, I thought of this, yeah. you could get a extended bed pickup truck, uh, one of the longer ones, water seal it, uh, and then swim laps in that while someone drives you to work. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. <coughs> it's like a treadmill, taking a treadmill. If you like to run, but you don't want to run on the sidewalks, put a treadmill in the back of the truck and run in that as someone drives. That's a good idea. Do you have any friends with trucks who might do that for you? I used to have a truck. I don't have any friends with trucks, though. And, uh... I, uh, if someone had a truck out there, though, I'd love to put out put this out. If you have a truck, hey, hit me up because not only would I like to swim or move in the back of it, it could also help me move some things around. I got a lot of stuff I need to move. Right. We'll call it Truck Jam. You come on down to the ATL. We'll show you a good time. Bring your truck, uh, maybe some bales of hay, and if you have some sort of uh, like cousins who, who want to meet us, they can come too. Imagine pulling up in your truck. We could go to all the restaurants and clubs that are secret societies for truck owners. There's a lot of them. You pull up and you see five or six trucks parked outside. They're in that society. I'm in a secret society. Uh, I have Cocker Spaniels, and that's my society that I've, I've joined. It's fun to be in a secret society, Matt. I saw a Cocker Spaniel on the way into work, and I thought of you. What's the difference, though? It might have been a St. Charles or King Charles Cavalier or something. Yeah, they bred, I think other, so maybe someone <coughs> in the Adult Swim streaming chat could answer, but I think a lot of dogs are, uh, they have different breeds within their breeds. So you can get an American Cocker Spaniel or an English Cocker Spaniel. And I think the King Charles falls under the English. And uh, to me, I prefer a good old fashioned American Spaniel. King Charles, they're smaller, I think. Cavalier, they have little ears. I like the bigger boys and girls, and uh, they're to me they're cuter. The little Car Charles ones, I don't like any of my dogs to be named after a king, or especially British royalty. So I like to prefer keep it, uh, you know, fluffy and big. Keep it American. Yeah. Made in the USA, Cocker Span. That's right. The, is there any cool like nicknames for uh, cocker spaniels amongst the cockerophiles? I haven't found any yet. <laughs> when I walk my dogs, they say, uh, "I see you have a spaniel," and I say, "Yes." Are they both spaniels? I say, "Yep." I'm watching a dog right now named Reggie, who's a uh, brown cho uh, chocolate cocker spaniel. I think they call them chocolate. He's like a little sweet treat. And then I have Petey, my uh, blonde cocker spaniel, who looks kind of like that, except I don't keep let his hair grow that long. I keep his hair cut short because he gets hot. But he looks like that, and he's a great little boy. Well, as you guys know, we have a special show uh, we do every day. It's called the William Street Swap Shop. You're watching it right now. I don't know why I'm talking about it like it's far away from us when we're inside of it currently we're in the shop you're with <coughs> us thanks for tuning in thank you for tuning in we like to help you swap your items with other viewers uh, we work for an entertainment empire called adult swim and this is one tentacle of that organism we our have vast our viewers get in touch with each other share their ideas share their items to swap with each other that's and right some other things too we might get into today not only have we swapped items here, we've traded stories. If you're a regular viewer, you can attest to that. If you're a first-time viewer, we've got some stories to trade, I'm sure. Or at least some tips. Give us a call, 413-961-4263, or email us at williams.swap at gmail.com. And we want to hit that email address one more time right now. I'm going to say it's slower. williams.swap at gmail.com. It's on the bottom left corner of your screen. With Mozilla Firefox, it's compatible with Google Chrome, it's compatible with uh, Safari later versions, I believe. Yep. 
and if you're running Internet Explorer, I think it will work with that still, too. Um, but we're a little low on items right now. We are. It happens in the spring sometimes. The season, people get warm. They think, I'm just going to enjoy life rather than um, emailing pictures to people. So what we're trying to say today is send us some stuff. Right. We'll spend a lot of time on it. It'll be real popular with your friends. And... Uh, you can go into your shift at the sandwich shop and say, guess what, you losers? I'm on the internet, and right. you're all just here making sandwiches. Look at me. You know, uh, not to boast, but you can say I've been featured on a successful streaming show on a digital platform by two r up-and-coming celebrities. Uh and it's great to send in your images, and as Matt said, uh, we understand it's springtime out. Uh, all from. You're busy. It's a lunch break. You want to go outside for a walk and look at all the uh, dogwood trees blooming, but please send us your items. We're in a drought. Hello. Welcome. Hey, welcome to the swap shop. It's Monday Hi, morning. Come on in. You're on here, and you are what make us cool. Oh, hey. How you doing? Oh, how we're doing, doing great. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna make you do awesome. Double bell Monday. Yeah. You're opening uh, up that door, trying out that new door. Yeah, let me open this door. You guys gonna let me in or what? You're in. Yeah. You know what? I actually Great. gotta fade you in. We got a new uh technology up here. We're gonna fade you slowly into give, give the me. it's a new collar. There it yeah. is. And then should I do it? Yeah. yeah okay. Just give it a, a touch of the wand there. The door, okay, the door is opening, and oh. it's just about open. There it is. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Welcome okay. to the swap How shop. You doing? You're now inside the swap shop. Now you're in here. And you are our friend named... I believe this is... Hi, I'm Uncle Chonky. It's Uncle Chonky. Oh, uh, hi. Uncle Chonky. Haven't seen you in a while. Dad, dad. How did everything turn out with the shoes, the shoe wear store, Uncle Chonky? Uh, it was like big and like big shoes, and the only shoes shoes that we sold were like big shoes for like big people, big boys, big boy shoes. Okay. Oh, I remember that was your dream because you got big feet. You're like sick of uh, sick of yeah. not having the the shoes I want. I'm gonna open a store for guys yeah. like me. Yeah. I remember when we go bowling. And you would say, uh, they'd say, what shoe size are you all? And Matt and I would say, oh, we're size 8. I'm a size 9. Have a slightly bigger foot, foot, bigger foot than Matt. And you would say, I'm a size 14. And you would say proud. Uncle Chonky. Hey, Dad. And what was the name of that hey, shoe Dad. store you opened? Uncle Chonky Shoes and Accessories for Shoes for Big Boys. That's right. And the acronym of that was... Right. Can you hashtag that? So that way we can get a little bit of sales up this week? It was a hot, a hot shop at the mall before they... Uh, we A lot of stores went out of business. Before they the had mall, a flood. The mall burned down, if I remember right. I Under burned suspicious down. Suspicious. And the mall. They said it was uh, weirdly the so fire... Yeah. The hot spot of the fire was Uncle Chonky's and couldn't figure out why. It was the chlamydia outbreak that we had. You have to be careful of uh, outbreaks and outages. Yeah, Thankfully, happened. we have power today, Uncle Chonky. We have uh, our studio is is fit to be square. It's ready to go. It's hip to be square. It's uh, the lights are on. We're running, and we don't have any outages. Huh. So, Uncle Chonky, uh, do you have something you want to discuss on the swap shop today? Is there an item you want to... Yeah, I want... I want to say... I'm not really... I've been pulling your legs this whole time. Okay. I'm, I'm not really Uncle Chonky. Oh. You've been joshing us. How Are did you... Are you a Josh? Yeah, my But you knew things only Uncle Chonky would know. How's that possible? That's why it's weird. That is weird. We come across revelations, and after we come through that path, I feel like we learn more about not only ourselves, but each other. That's right, you taught us something today. 
valuable lesson, you know what I mean? Don't trust don't trust nobody on the phone if it's say that Uncle Chonky because a lot of people pretend to be him. So who is this for real then? Oh, it's Nick Opoza. Oh, Nick. Oh, okay, Nick. How's it going? Hi, Nick. Why would you're little, you? little bro. It's your little bro, Clive. Yeah, you're little our bro buddy. Clive. How you doing? We're doing great. How about yourself? I'm, I'm pretty, pretty... You know what I like about you, Nick? You just disappear into the roles. You just... You're like a... You know, a... a method actor. You are. A talented member. A method? A you're method like a meth actor. head actor. <laughs> I you like do that. A lot of work like for us. <laughs> you're you're a fine, like talented individual. <laughs> do you have any items for our swap shop today for the drought? Uh, I have my undying love. Actually, I could probably send in an item. You want me to email it to you guys? If you want, yeah. or you could tell us, uh, give us a tip, story, or a trick. We swap more than just items on the swap shop if you're a new viewer watching. And in fact, you can help us kick this off. We haven't talked about it yet, but today we want to swap concepts. We're calling it the Concept Lab. Mm. Yeah. And you could be the first one to, uh, you know, submit a concept, anything. It can be the realm of technology, humanities, um, science, or animal uh, husbandry or agriculture or Water. any other or art concepts. concepts concepts are great because it's an idea you have but that idea will probably be concrete so you make it a concept which is where the con from concrete comes from latin they're both <laughs> latin words for thing a thing the thing right uh wait 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 <laughs> what are we doing right now? We're going. We're going to take a trip to the concept you got lab. You, when you oh, okay. lie in bed uh, before you go to sleep, there's little ideas floating around your head. I should do X. And sometimes it's uh, an art idea. Sometimes it's a book idea. And then sometimes it's just like a way you're going to feel cool, like fashion or some other idea. Or an invention. I think. It's a concept. I think I gotta start wearing my pants a little bit lower. Start taking a little bit more volumes, a little bit more Xanax. And um, I'm gonna stop rock, rocking my aunt in, um, in the car and stuff like that. Okay. Listening to rock great, music in the car? That's a first good concept. It's yeah. a lower pants, a combination of lower pants, more volume, and less ant rocking. Right. Sounds like a good concept. So it's like a lifestyle concept. What would be yours? <clears throat> um, well, we're going to get into that. Yeah. We've got all kinds of concepts. Stay tuned, Nick. You're going to see our concept all lab right. at work. It's uh, powered by really fast computers. Yeah, and Intel also sponsored, sponsored the whole thing. They did. So thank you, Intel. That's like exactly what I'm not supposed to say legally. Intel didn't sponsor it, but... We're just making a joke. joke. Sorry uh, <laughs> to our Apple legal department. We're just joshing. It's not April Lenova Fool's Day yet, but it. we're just fooling. Lenovo sponsored Yes. Lenovo. It's right. That's not right. Intel. I'm not All right, to well say... I'm going to clear up the line. Thank you, Nick, for calling I hope, in. And I hope that you have a nice Monday. And Thank Nick, you. will you do us a favor? And um, I know you're good with uh, the Photoshop and stuff. Put together your Uncle Chonky's uh, big and tall store sign, and we'll make a little, you know, commercial for you guys. Right. We, we would actually love that. We need the business. There's only so many big feet, but the thing with big feet is you got to get repeat customers. You got loyalty. That's how you generate revenue. Ideally, we will open up the swap shop and make it a, uh, a mall. And we, you will see the swap shop and Uncle Chonky's store, and you, there will be a vape shop and a tattoo parlor. All the th hits that you need. You'll never have to leave them a all. A vape shop? A vape shop and a bait shop. In one. Vape, <laughs> vaping. That would be beautiful. And getting some bait for f uh, fishing at the little pond in our and it'll be called, outside. And it'll be called a Hooked. 
getting hooked. <laughs> that's 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 part of part of part of our concept lab actually. That's part of our concept too. <laughs> yeah. That's all about concepts today. Nick, always good to hear your voice. It's one of the voices I know from within five milli uh, tones of hearing the first frequency. I know it's Nick, and I say interior high five to myself in my chest area. Thank you. Thank you. Every time that every time that you guys um, call me late at night when you guys aren't able to sleep, it really makes me feel like I'm a bigger boy and I'm almost the man of the house now. Good. And I really appreciate that. You're getting there. You're welcome, Nick. You're going to be there soon. You got a, you have a lot of good jokes, so thank you for sharing those with us today. Okay, thank you. I, I love you guys. We love you too. Love thank you. Love you too. We'll see you soon. Be careful leaving the swap shop. On the doors keep that head heavy. up. This week, I know you got a lot of challenges ahead of you, and I think you can you can make a list, cross them off one by one, and get them all done. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. We need a hug sound. <coughs> a hug is a different than a handshake. The handshake is the. But the hug, I think, would be more of like a pat. You're going to mm. pat someone on the back. We'll make that. Or possibly a... <coughs> just a tight squeeze. <coughs> I could just make it on... Here, stay on Zach, and then here's the sound of him. Does this look like he's getting a hug when you hear this sound? I was watching the monitor, it looked like it, but uh, we invite our viewers in the chat to let us know or give us a call at 413-961-4263. Matt, should we take a look at the concept lab? Uh, yeah. Should reverse we reverse back to our drought? I guess we should set it up with the drought okay. lab. Uh, I just checked the inbox. There are no new items in there. We're serious. This we're is a drought. We're deep in a drought. We're in a swap drought. We understand you want to do outdoor activities, but spend a few minutes at your computer. Send a JPEG over to us at williams.swap at gmail.com and get our gallery going. It's spring cleaning time. Get out. Get in that attic, that basement, uh, your dorm uh, cubby uh, treasure chest full of things you couldn't let go of when you moved away from high school because you were, you know, immature, but now you're mature. And send us a JPEG of that stuff, and we'll get you swapping it ASAP. Let's take a look at the, uh, to show you how serious meantime, this is. Yeah, in the meantime, let's just flesh out this drought concept. We've got, drought. We've, got a, we've got a little bit of an item drought. Got to key out that, or that green gets keyed out on that cactus. My fault. Where are the items? <coughs> <coughs> Been about 14 days since the last town. What's this? Is that something I can swap? I think so. An oasis. <gasps> it's a, a swap oasis. A swap item oasis. There's items in here I can swap. Finally. I bet that lake is full of items, hot items. What I hope there's no electronics that got wet. And squads there. No Game Boys. There's squad. This is really it. Squad the items are in the lake. Squad, how are you? Where are the items? Show us the items, buddy. Show us the items, squad. We've been out in this desert all day. Show us the items. We need some items. Squaw. What? What's happening, Squaw? Squaw. Why? Where are the... Oh, no. Why? It was just a mirage. We're back to an empty inbox. We the need item items. The item drought continues. And no one can hear our coughs. So we desperately 
We have a lot of items in the swap shop, but not any new items. Fil help us fill that lake with some new items. Be careful sending in electronics. Take a picture of them inside of a little Ziploc bag. That should be airtight. Make sure it's completely sealed across. And you can toss it in any water you want, and we'll it won't hurt any of the electronics. I'm going to put those items in the item lake and drink of it and feel restored. That's right. We need some beverage. We need something to wet our mouths with items. I want to swallow up, drink up all your JPEGs. The swap drought. Day one. We're starting a count up of how long the item drought lasts. And we call on you to be our savior by emailing your swappable items to williams.swap at, at gmail.com. Gmail.com. Google, they make great products. You're going to feel great emailing it to our Google Mail account. Just a heads up, uh, someone asked in the chat, is this a replay? No, we are live. Today is Monday, March 28th, yep. 2016. Uh, front page of the New York Times, something about the election probably. That's right. What else would we only know that happened this morning? Concepts, allergies, those are big in the news right now. Apple's releasing a new phone. We talked about that. What else is going on in the news? This is live today. It's live. Uh, don't want to talk about that. Don't want to talk about that. Google's doing something, right? Don't. Yeah. Those are all downers. Downer, downer, downer. A lot of bad news today. Uh, hmm. Okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah. The best way to know that it today is today is that... Oculus Rift. I think that's coming out today. That's coming out today. So, there you go. And it's that's a concept, which le takes us into our concept labs. The Oculus Rift was started in our concept lab, actually. Yeah. Our lab has been around long before the swap shop. Just real quick, my, my first concept is a movie called Oculus Drift. And it is a Fast and Furious franchise number nine okay oculus drift they, do they wear headsets the whole thing happens well the whole thing happens they've been drifting cars and then at the end you realize it was in a it was all virtual reality all eight movies before this one too right it wraps it all yeah it ties a nice little bow on everything it says we were never in any of those high <coughs> fast and furious chases it was just us in our living room playing games we were always safe we would always wear a seatbelt. We'll pitch that one. We'll, right. we'll bundle yours and, and mine into our okay. Amazon Prime Lift pitch. me up. Right. I pitched to Amazon we last still, week. Uh, still waiting to hear back from the executives. From but I think I am close friends with Vin Diesel, Matt. So you can pitch Oculus Drift to him, and I'm sure he'll sign on for it. Okay. It, somehow we keep ending up at Vin Diesel every single day. Oculus Drift being the most recent. He's a <laughs> prolific actor concepts what are they how do they how do they work if you guys don't have a swap to go today we're going to invite you to participate in our new concept called the concept lab and basically we take your concept and we help you sort of uh, mold it polish it and together we're going to come up with some great concepts so uh, here's a little bit about the topic and just kind of get your your muscles going here Concepts are everywhere, but what is a concept, and how do you make one? Little do you know, concepts have been around since the beginning of time. They're what keep our society functioning. If you want to put uh, someone in a tank and then put a dolphin in there, that's a concept. Just don't put a third thing in there. Science is a concept, and a new phone coming out 
will be able to take your DNA. You will find out who you are and where you belong and where you're from. That's a concept. Every once in a while, an innovation comes along that changes the way we think as a nation. And that all begins with a concept in your mind and the way you talk about it. Hold on, we're going on the concept train. It's going fast. Concept, concept, concept. We're passing all the concepts. You interact with people every day, and they give you new concepts. Thought it was an idea no one else could use? Maybe you were right. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't keep going. Everyone fails and succeeds in equal number. It, when you die, it all equals up to zero. Sometimes concepts can be dangerous and you feel alone because no one supports your concept. But if you come to our lab, we will help make it work. We will fund and grow your concept. What was the first concept ever? It's a great question. A little planet we like to call Earth. The sun probably came before it, but for the sake of this illustration, we're going to say Earth came first. And we call that a concept. We learned a lot about concepts uh, there, and I know the viewers in our stream, they are now fully aware. They are awake to concepts. So give us a call, 413-961-4263. This is the Concept Lab uh, edition of William Street Swap Shop. We're going to help you shape your concept. It's like Shark Tank, uh, but there's no money, and we won't be making anything, and no one is probably watching this. <coughs> People are watching, but we don't know if this concepts are being 100% uh, if they're fully swappable. Some people might want to keep their concepts to their to themselves. They don't want to share it. Concepts can be dangerous, as we said. If someone hears your concept, and they might get a better idea and grow on that concept, and before you know it. They'll be making Oculus Drift without you, Matt. I want to make Oculus Drift also an uh, open source movie. That's the other part of the concept. I'm going to make the screenplay on G Drive, and everyone can add or subtract from it, and then we'll just put that and make that the final script. Open source. Hello. We got someone calling in. Is a, a Maybe it's a concept. Hello. Is this a concept? <coughs> Hello, Matt. Hello, Zach. I hope you had a good weekend. Oh, thank hey. you. Hey, how's it going? It's doing quite well. I did have a concept for you at Gentleman today. Excellent. Sure. Are you calling from the uh, new uh, phone? Yes, I am, actually. Oh, good. It sounds, uh, we, we hear you loud and clear. Uh, my concept is caffeinated fruit juice. Caffeinated, caffeinated fruit. fruit juice. Yeah. Is this uh is this Visk? Yes it is. Oh, Visk. Welcome. welcome welcome back to the Valued shop. Valued swapper Visk. We always like to hear from you. Not only is he a great swapper, but now he's got a great concept. Caffeinated fruit juice. Caffeinated fruit juice. So it's hundred percent healthy for you. Yes it is. And this way you can get caffeine without having to drink soda or coffee in the morning if you don't like them. Right. You don't get all the sugars that come with those. So you drop You some, get the good sugars from fruit. Right. You drop some caffeine and some grapefruit juice, and the rest is magic. You're getting healthy and amped up for that 3 o'clock meeting. Exactly. Now, would you mix fruit flavors together, or would you be strictly one fruit at a time? It would depend if the initial quality of ideas of it worked in the first place. Start with just OJ or apple juice or grapefruit juice or grape juice, and if people like it enough, you build into flavor combos. You drop in some strawberries, some mangoes, some papaya. And that's a concept. We could yeah. call it Visk's Fruit. Uh, if you wanted to, add a vape shop to it. Visk's Fruit Vape Shop. Could we add a vape shop to your juice? Um, maybe. I hadn't thought about that. Well, what would you call this if you opened up your shop? Jittery juice. Jittery juice? Jittery juice. Oh. There we go. It's a great, a great concept. And how do you get the caffeine in there? Do you know about that part? Or does that um, figure out later? You, you do it however the soda companies do it and just steal their idea. 
So you extract the caffeine from uh, from a coffee bean. Right. Make it colorless and flavorless, and then just pour that into the into the fruit juice. That's one way. I think you can get just uh, concentrated caffeine as well, as long as you put it in small enough doses that don't kill a person. Okay. I don't want luck. <laughs> the perfect way to start your... Here, let me do a commercial real quick for you, Bisque. The perfect way to start your morning off right, jittery juice. I wake up, I'm always running late to meetings because I'm tired, I'm yawning, but jittery juice keeps me uh, always working on my lawn because I get home from work and I still have lots of energy. Pick up a jittery juice today. I'm going to be straight with you. I drink a lot of coffee and I don't really like it. It's a part of my personality. I wish I could change. I read books, but they don't help. Guess what happened? A little thing called jittery juice. Now I just drink juice and I get refreshed. I can go throw frisbee with my friends for more than uh, an hour and have energy as well as not being sleepy. I think I have some good people for spokesmen now. Right. Matt and I, we can do it for a small amount of money. Uh, if this idea, this concept takes off, we'll, we'll do this for you. Uh, we'll sign a contract. We will drink the juice out in public when people take pictures with us. Yes. We'll do the full nine yards. We got to... I tell you what, you make it happen, I'll give you guys a percentage of the whole thing. Oh. All right. Now that's a Now concept. we're talking. Yeah. We're getting already down to the negotiations right. here. First thing you got to do is sign a non-disclosure agreement once we show you about, um, you're going to have to know about our secrets before the business starts. Right. First thing you do, sign a non-disclosure agreement so that you cannot tell anyone about the things you see or hear when we talk to you. I think I can manage that if you fax one over or email one over. Okay. Okay. Just standard stuff. Just to always keep. I think I'm a, I can agree with that. And we'll have mobile to mobile meetings. We'll have activation sites. We'll even have a footprint. It's what the marketing biz uses when they decide to have an activation site at an event. Jittery, but not a event, carbon footprint. Sponsored to by Jittery Juice. And it'll say, "How do you juice?" The banner, the vinyl banner we buy. <laughs> Need some jitters? Drink some juice. Jittery juice. And then on the Instagram account, we'll have uh, like a stop motion fruits colliding into each other and then um, exploding into like a, a bed fire. And then for the poster, it will be a nice farmer, maybe even modeled after you, after you, Visc, if you'd like your image to be up. I know a lot of people do. With Paul Newman's uh, pizza sauce, and you could put yourself up. Uh, you could be injecting an apple from an apple in an apple orchard, a huge syringe, and just injecting it with jittery juice. You know, I think actually the better person to have on the on the label, I think, would be you, Jack. That's it's going to cost you extra. It's negotiable, but we can make it work. I think it'd be worth the investment. What do you think about Zach's body type currently versus what you would want from a spokesman? About right or maybe spend a little more time in the gym or maybe lose a few pounds? As someone who can't really job, Visk is purposely making this inaudible right. so I don't he doesn't so that hurt you my don't, feelings. Your feelings don't get hurt. Visk, I do have to say Oh, you, long, did you not hear it? Long arms, Visk. Look at these arms. I think the arms are fine. One time I was at... We'll put you in a sheriff outfit and I'll say, the long arm of caffeinated fruit juice That's has arrived. Me reaching, my arm will be reaching across three trees to get the perfect apple with caffeine in it. And I take a bite out of it. Ooh, that's some jittery juice in that apple. I'm ready to take on the day. Uh, one, one quick story, Visk. Uh... Speaking of my long arms, when I worked at a at a store, I was uh, before I came to the swap shop. I was stocking a shelf, and someone asked me if they could reach back and get a milk that was way back in the in the freezer. 
I said, sure. They couldn't reach it after the door was open. I reached it out and I said, is there anything else I can get you or help you with today? And they said, you can grab anything for us with those long arms. That's a true story. And that would be the time where we could recreate that commercial and I'd say, let me grab you a jittery juice. I think that's a good idea. Thank you. And a little twist to that story. That milk that Zach grabbed was me. And we've been friends ever you since. You were the milk. Yep. And we've been buds, best pals ever since. That was the concept. I took Matt back to the concept lab. Everybody's like, how did you guys meet? Long story. I was milk. Zach was reaching for me. It makes sense. Visk, it does make sense. Thank you for your call, Slowly. call Visk. We, uh, we have a few more things we'd like to get to on the show today, but we do have some mail from you, and we left it in the other part of the building. We'll oh, get right. To it tomorrow we have to get that morning. tomorrow. Very big announcement, right. I believe. Tomorrow morning, stay yes. tuned. Tune in, and we will be opening up some mail. It's Mail Call Tuesday. Thanks that for, sounds fantastic. Thanks for kicking off Concept Lab, and good luck with uh, caffeine juice. I think that jittery juice, and I think that we probably helped you really make this uh, right. closer to reality. So, you you know, you're welcome for that, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, sounds great. Healthy and Sounds good. Drink. Thanks. Have Vincent. a good day, gentlemen. You too. Thank you very much. Well, I think that was a good first step for it Concept was. Lab. If you guys also have any concepts, inventions, uh, bright ideas, art, visualizations, business, small business ideas, small business, yeah, prospectuses. Come to us before you try and get a loan for it, we'll make sure your idea is concrete and it's co a concept. Bring it to the lab. That's our, yeah, that's how we. We have a little mascot. It's a concept Labrador Retriever. And it barks uh, concepts. It's really cute. <coughs> there it is. Concept? That's a concept. Another concept. Put it in the lab. Labrador. Good concepts. On Friday, we had some drama. There was a potential swap that got cut off at the pass. We love when this happens. Counter offer on the show live was accepted. If you were there, you'll never forget it. It was an electrifying five minutes of streaming digital content. Uh, and today we want to honor that. Right. With successful a successful swap. Successful swap video. Roll the vid. Andy's Pong set successfully swapped for Connor's second poncho right. to be swapped on the show. We Big. decided on Friday that Connor, who owns a lot of ponchos, is a, a ponchosaur or what? A contro? What do we call him? <laughs> a connoisseur, a connoisseur of, ponchos. of ponchos. That's pretty hip and cool. Or a ponchosaur of Connor's. That's right. <coughs> Oh, one thing that was the noise uh, that alerts us to our items. One thing we haven't really done today is we only have a few minutes left, so we should probably just look at the items just to refresh those that are new and those that have been here for a while of what exists in the swap shop. We've been talking about swapping items and we haven't even shown anything that's available to be swapped. There's our first item here. This is a workout by Arnold Schwarzenegger book, Arnold's Bodybuilding for Men. And we actually got this one physically in here. It was sent to us. And I got to tell you, there's photography in here that'll knock your socks off. A lot of great workout routines. And let's just say planking. 
You thought that was something that happened in 2010? No, Arnold had it going in 1982. There's a lot of plank exercises you can do. Straightens your core. If you want to be proud of your body and impress your family, when the holidays roll around, you've got time. Get the book. Make a swap offer. That's right. <coughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger wrote it, but Bill Dobbins was his co-author, and Dobbins does great work. Nobody messes with the Dobbins, is what he would say to the publishers when they made this book. I'll make sure we get this written, Arnold, and we'll get a big royalty check. I'm sort of the, you're sort of the Bill Do Dobbins to my Arnold Schwarzenegger on the show. Bill Dobbins would say, hey, no one's robbing the Dobbins. We're going to get all the money, all the profits from this book when it gets published. <coughs> you're going to one day run for governor, and you're going to be a successful movie star, all because of this book. And one day somebody will swap an interesting item for it, and they'll feel so good when they flip it open and they see what a great thing we've put together. If anyone tries to rob the Dobbin, I'm going to stab them like the Dobbins. Stab and dabbin. That was my name in college. That's what I would do when someone tried to make a bad deal. And then when you were on the run, you were stabbing, dabbing, then you went on the run, you had to change it to Dobbins. That's right. On the Throw lamb. off the scent. I've always thought about going on the lamb, Matt, someday just Disappear. disappearing. Off the grid. Every once in a while I think about uh, just the limited amount of time we have on this planet and, you know, why not go for it? That's right. And every now and then I think about the limited time that we have on the, the swap shop. And we went for it today. We didn't Did. get to everything. Now we have a whole, we have to apologize to Lauren. She was going to come up here. We ran out of time. We're going to do it tomorrow. That's right. It's going to be a new installment of Swap Heat tomorrow. You want to check it out. To. What else do we have on the agenda this week, Matt? Uh, we got a couple of congressmen coming by to just discuss some legislation they're putting through this season. Um, I think Orrin Hatch will be here. We're uh, going to have a lot of new Strom, hashtags. Strom Thurmond and, uh, and uh, the new chief justice nominee will be swinging by great sounds like a week full uh, bonanza a week full of great shows we hope you had a great time today and thank you for watching stay tuned for crosswords coming up next and you know thanks for participating and being our friend and send those jpegs williams.swap at gmail.com we're going to highlight you we're going to honor you on the show and we'll dip something in bronze and mail it to you so don't miss out on that possibility till tomorrow you were close to our hearts it's a deal it's a deal <laughs>